We've known for some time that the Third Reich had taken over the medical program there in Austria. But what's, what's the specific news that's been revealed? The specific news here is that even though after the war, Hans Asperger denounced uh, the Reich's racial hygiene agenda and the euthanasia program, that he referred at least two children uh, to almost certain death at a killing center named Spiegelgrund, who, which was run by a former colleague of his. So this is actual evidence that Asperger's signature condemned at least a couple of children to death. And also there's evidence that he sat on a committee that decided whether children would live or die. Now, what both uh, Herwig Check, the author of this new paper, and Edith Sheffer, the author of, author of a book that's going to be coming out shortly, say is that they don't know if Asperger also used his position to save other children, but mm -hmm. certainly, you know, signatures on two death warrants is too, too many. So he's been regarded as something of the Oscar Schindler, if you like, of, um, of uh, Aspies and of autistics, given uh, what he did and, and said about autistic children. So th this completely ends that chapter. Is his name now Mud? Well, his name may be Mud, but it, it actually does not completely end that chapter. And this is a, a very, very important point. Before 1938, when the Germans marched into Austria, Asperger was collaborating with two Jewish researchers named George Frankel and Annie Weiss, and they helped him develop the very compassionate and broad-minded vision of autism that a British cognitive psychiatrist named Lorna Wing later used to develop the concept of the autism spectrum mm. and Asperger syndrome. And there's nothing that Asperger did that can take away from the contributions of his colleagues one of whom hid a Jewish boy in his own apartment through the war. And in fact, that boy ended up writing a memoir saying that there was a group of opponents to National Socialism in that clinic. So Asperger, it seems, was playing this very complicated game of appearing to be anti-Nazi, yeah. but meanwhile signing a couple of death warrants and perhaps sending some more, more children to M. Spiegelgrund. But the vision of autism that came out of that clinic which we now call the autism spectrum, that's definitely not mud. In fact, it turned out to be true. The, the term Asperger's is not used anymore as a diagnosis. It is now called the autism spectrum. But with this news, do you think this is the end of that term? Yes. I, well, I think it's up to autistic people to decide how they want to use that term in a sense or not. Um, you know, I don't think I should be telling them what to think. But certainly, you know, the Asperger's syndrome term is already out of the Bible of psychiatry in America, mm. the so-called DSM. And I think this will probably hasten its removal from the international classification of diseases, uh, which is still used in Europe.